Well, today's buzz kicks off with one sorry thief. And joining me to discuss today, meteorologist Jill Sweat. So happy to have you here. Of course, Haley's gone, obviously. Mm. Dia's not been here. So the yeah. two of us, we're going to get through yeah. all of these. Yes. All right, let's get started. Check this out. A package thief develops remorse, returns the stolen goods to the scene of a crime, and then even writes an apology oh, letter. That's nice. <laughs> a homeowner's camera caught two people lingering by his door, taking off with his packages. He posted the video to a community Facebook page, and then days later, his stuff ended up back on his porch with a note oh. that the thief apologized for taking the boxes, asking for forgiveness, and telling the owner, quote, I have children and I need to be a better role model. Oh, well, that's nice. Well, you remote, know. Remote, what would they call you that over the holidays? Were they porch pirates? Oh, yeah, because it happens all the time, time around, I know. you know, Christmas and everything. Yeah. But I guess it's never too late to do the right thing. That's right. Right. A good lesson so, in being a, just a good steward. Yeah. yeah. Either he really felt bad or maybe he just was afraid of getting caught. Maybe. Yeah. Either way, though. Either way. Returned him. Did the right thing. That's good. All <laughs> right. Next up here, this is really interesting. You'll have to kind of follow us on this one. A traffic stop leads to a surprise reunion. All right, follow closely. A New Jersey state trooper pulled over a driver for a minor violation. The two got to talking, and the driver, Matthew Bailey, said that he was a former local police officer. Mm. Trooper Patterson told him that he grew up in that town where he was a police officer and mentioned a street. Bailey then told him he'd once helped deliver a baby on that same street. They put two and two together. Matthew extends his hand to Patterson and says, thanks for helping deliver me. Oh, my goodness. The trooper and his mother then later visited Bailey and his wife at their home. Can you imagine that? Oh, my goodness you No, know, I know it's kind of hard to follow. Yeah, so, yeah, no, a trooper is, is meeting this guy who, oh, I just realized you helped deliver me. That is such a cool story. I know. You just never know. It seems like those kinds of things, you know, it's fate. They, they happen and mm -hmm. they're in the most random places. Right. You know, like yeah. you would never expect to get pulled over and... I wonder if he gave him a ticket. Oh, I hope not. I bet not. I know. <laughs> he said it was a minor <laughs> offense. So I'm sure he was like, you move let on. that one you know, go. You, you know, you basically brought me into this world. So. Yeah. Okay. Lastly, a Portland officer is going viral for giving a ride to a chicken that flew the coop. The officer spotted the chicken doing some free roaming on a city street. Now with no owner in sight, he scooped up the bird and put it into his patrol car. The chicken was then turned over to animal control. And Portland police later tweeted that Edie was eventually picked up by her owner. No foul huh. play was suspected. <laughs> the bird was not considered a flight risk. Huh. How about that? That's a cool looking bird. That is. I wonder what folks in like downtown Portland would be thinking, <laughs> you know, seeing a chicken in the back of a police car. I bet. Is it really that uncommon there? Well, yeah, keep Port <laughs> Portland's weird. weird. Yeah. So, I don't know. But you know, and all the, why the chicken crossed the road. Right, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm surprised that joke wasn't thrown right, in there exactly. too. But glad that he's, or she, Edie, right. I guess, mm -hmm. safe and sound. Right. All right. That's a look at today's buzz. More traffic and weather is coming your way next on LEX 18 News at 4.